Okay, uh, in this video I'm going to quickly show you uh, how emails are dealt with in Axiom, whether that they be recovered from a computer or a cloud, or a cloud account, or you've directly um, loaded a PST file. So, um, for example here I'm just going to quickly load a PST in. So, file files and folders file and then is it some PSTs that I've exported uh, previously uh, elsewhere and then I'll set another one now because I've imported some PSTs uh, I can do some filtering on them and export them out as a PST um, and that's generally the rule of thumb with um, Outlook and Hotmail as well. So, uh, when you're dealing with them emails, if you filter uh, to a refined data set, you can also export to PST. Uh, it won't work for Gmail, so if you're looking at Gmail uh, messages and you do some filtering, it won't let you export to a PST. So, then once you've done your evidence sources, so um, for example, in uh, another video I've done cloud and I added a, a Microsoft Hotmail or Live account and that you can just go about doing your normal processing to which you will um, be presented with uh, data similar as follows so for example here um, this is uh, a cloud extraction from a, a, a live.co.uk account and the email is on the right hand side here or the, or the contents of and then you can get to see some information about the email here. Now it might be that uh, you can see that uh, they're in the junk mail folder so for example if we were only interested in emails from the junk mail folder I can filter on the column here and let's put the word junk in. So now we're just looking at emails from the junk folder and if there's any more items that they'll be here so for example attachments I don't think there is any in here they would show up uh, here however if I just show you uh, this this is a uh, another example again it's a an outlook uh, or live extraction I've done a filter and we can see a bit more information now uh, about these emails obviously the contents here now what you can do is you'll notice that these have all got attachments so if you click on one this is the content of the email and the attachment is here now if you click on the attachment it will try and um, preview it here but what you can do is if you right click save artifact and you can just drop that out uh, anywhere so I'm just, I'm just going to put it here the file has been saved as indicated by the bottom left here I click on open and then this is my uh, lovely boarding pass when I was going to Gran Canaria back in 2016 that I wish I was back there um, so that's how you can deal with attachments likewise this is for this is the Enron email uh, the sanitized uh, Enron email data set I, I just put that in and again you can see all the uh, different emails here and connections does work as well so if you um, run the connections process you can then um, see the connections for all these emails gets a bit unworkable in some parts but you know the concepts there and to be fair the, you know the Enron email data set is rather big uh, and this is just an example of uh, like a typical examination uh, and these are some of the um, example emails that you can get here so uh, EML if I go on that you can create reports uh, this is where I was saying that the PST is um, greyed out it's not an option whereas if I go to um, these for example so I filtered uh, on the, the folder holiday 
But what I can do then is because they, they all came from a PST or like um, Outlook, Hotmail, email. I can export them out as a PST, to, you know, to be used in another tool, should I wish. You know, common practice is that people do a lot of filtering uh, in Axiom, export the PST uh, in, uh, and drop that in Outlook, uh, purely because, you know, some people all find it easier to review emails in Outlook as well. So th that's an option to you. Uh, and that's just a brief overview of uh, emails within Axiom.